Hi, I'm Trish McKinney. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how I do an altered book. Um, this is a book on window boxes and it's pretty filled up. It's a cover and a lot of pages I've already worked on. My take on altered books is slightly different in the fact that I use mine for creative prompts and I use the words and cover up most of everything else. First thing you want to do, the most important part of the process is to get wax paper and place a sheet behind each of your pages. The reason you do this is so that any of the materials that you're working on will not come through and glue the other pages on your book together or ruin the previous painted pages. So we're going to go over materials for this first part. I love to use Golden Brand Gesso. It's a lot nicer and smoother after it dries. And I like to put it into this handy squeeze bottle so it comes out easier. You can get it at any Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I use an old brush for this process and usually I prefer the talcum. This is a half inch. The next thing I do is I do a process I call reading backwards where I allow a few words or key phrases to pop out at me. I will cover up most of the rest of the page. This will provide a creative prompt on how I will finish these two pages.
So now I'm all done, and here's the finished product. I removed the wax paper, and if you notice all the words that have come through, and I'm very pleased with the colors. This is how I use my stencils. I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched today.